Hey everyone, welcome back to Nerd's Layer episode 51. I'm your host, Juancho, as always, joined by the, the man, the myth, the legend, the geek takeover. We decided to give Juan another week, and then uh, he put it, we're putting in his two weeks for him, and then uh, next week. Uh, Jay, you're ready for episode one of the Geek Takeover? Hell yeah. <laughs> what? I thought it was the anchor bean. What? what? Oh, no. No, oh. you're, not that imp- you're not that important. You, you just start laughing like uh, Paradox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Jay, we got the return of the Jay money here. Yeah, hey, what's up? So, dude... We missed you, man. Geek was crying. You know, he's ready to you take know, over with you. I, I have to ask him because the echo. Are you in a bathroom? You know, I was gonna ask if you can hear the echo. No, I'm in the I'm in the hallway. Okay. <laughs> I just I have to ask. Yeah, I mean, it's the only spot where I can have some privacy without other people like in the background. I thought you were like locked up in a bathroom by Jigsaw. <laughs> I was you wouldn't be that smart to get out. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I wasn't going to plan on going to the bathroom, but I was like, <laughs> they're probably going to hear me talking to myself because you guys are in my headphone, so it's going to make me sound crazy, and I don't <laughs> Oh, honey, you are crazy. Yeah, but I'm not that crazy. I'm not talking to myself. Well... He's crazy with style. <laughs> I'm crazy with passion. <laughs> Anyways, it's it's good to be back. You know, hopefully you guys have gotten a chance to see Alien. I can guess two people here who have, maybe one who hasn't. Maybe. Come on, Jay. Sadly, no. Oh. Bro, you gotta take your girl to it. Yeah, dude, it's it's fun. It's, yeah, you won't or be take disappointed. Your, treat yourself to it. Yeah, he can, he can agree, right? He won't be disappointed. Uh, I mean, he'll be something. <laughs> hey, you got to see a xenomorph. That's it. Anyways, yeah, uh, I've heard very good things. Yeah, yeah, but um, before we get the show started, uh, we're gonna start with a tribute. Say, uh, thanks, Geek, uh, for reminding me. It's been well, yeah, four, four years, years, right? Yeah, four years. <laughs> This is the unfortunately uh fortunate passing of uh, Chadwick Boseman, the legend, and also a tribute to uh, Arlene. Four days ago, would have it's uh, when it was a year since she passed. Kirby, it would have been his hundred and sixth birthday. Good God! Yeah. I did not know he was that much older than Stanley. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to give a quick uh, moment of silence here. All right, we're back now. Uh, we got quite a few things to touch on, starting with uh, Shang-Chi, if I'm getting this correct, would have been one of the leads in Avengers 5? Yeah, so uh, I'll kinda, yeah, I'll kind of take the lead on this. So apparently in one of the original stories for Avengers 5, Shang-Chi was going to be pretty much like you said, the, the lead in the movie, um, which is interesting. Uh, maybe a little bit of favoritism because Daniel Dustin Craig wasn't going to be the director and he also directed Shang-Chi. So maybe that was just like a, you know, I, I at least know one of these characters really well. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about it, especially because like it, it, it seems a little bit like favoritism in that department. Um, yeah. And I also just, just because like I, I like Simu, I like Shang-Chi. I just don't know how I would feel about him leading an Avengers movie. 
especially that being his second appearance. Yeah, and he just got his powers too. Yeah, so I wouldn't mind like the Ten Rings being a lead, but yeah. How about how do you how about you, Jay? How do you feel about this? I mean, I'm kind of in the same uh, boat with uh, Geek here. I mean, I would have been fine. <clears throat> I would have been fine with him being one of the leads. Like, you know. But being the main character, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. For all we know, someone else could have led the Avengers. He could have just been the lead of the movie. Yeah, yeah no, I, like, sure. I don't. I don't see him leading in any yeah. way the Avengers. Yeah, yeah no. leading the Avengers. Okay, that's a little. Yeah, no. that's definitely favoritism. Like, he works well on a team, and it's a great character. We we all here really like him, but uh, it's like seeing Katie leading the Avengers. I, I could see Wong leading the Avengers better because he has more experience. Wong may lead the oh, Avengers. Man. We don't know. Yeah, he may lead. <laughs> he may be. Walker with Madison. With a Y, but not where you think it is. Yeah, she'll be in the, the Abomination too. Just throwing everyone. Gambit, you know. For, actually, let's just touch on that. Uh, a deleted clip was released. Teasing the return? Question mark, question mark, question mark of Gambit? Uh, Geek, how do you feel about this? Uh, I'm not going to read too much into it. I just think it was... I think this movie was intended to bring closure to some of these characters and uh, leave them off better than how they were. Uh, so I think this was a way of showing that Chain Tatum can play Gambit and we're not going to kill him. You know, yeah. he still gets to... I, I look at this and it's like Gambit gets to go do Gambit things in his own world now. Yeah. Maybe Secret Wars, yeah. but I don't. I don't see it going beyond that. I, I personally don't even. I don't want it to go beyond that. I would like somebody else with this. Yeah. I feel like I'm in like the boat where like I like Gambit. I like the role. I don't need to see more. Yeah. How about you, Jamie? You being one of the, you know, Gambit simps here, how do you how do you feel about this clip? And do, do you want to see him back? I mean, was it good? I wouldn't mind seeing him back, but I mean, like, he was there's to be a reference and a joke at the same time. So I mean, I feel like. He like I would say the only thing him showing up in would be Secret Wars. <laughs> you know, that, that's like the only thing, but I think it was just to like yeah, he's not dead, but he's still in the void. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it was just to show us like, yeah, he's not dead, he's still alive. He's gonna be around, but not as our gambit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm with you guys. Like, I, I could see either way. Uh, if it doesn't work out, you know, it was cool he came back for this after waiting a hundred years to play the character. But, yeah, uh, yeah, and um, I will say this: has it been confirmed what universe he's in from? No, and I feel like that's just another thing. It's like, like I said, the portal opens. He walks through it. He can do whatever he wants. I was gonna say they, I could see them doing like a multiversal X Men team for Secret Wars, kind of like mutants from you know A B C universe, but we'll see in what three years, two years, whatever. Give or take, we get an animated rogue on the team of Chain Tatum. Yeah, so don't bring back uh, Anna Paquin, <laughs> or maybe do bring her back. Who knows. I I think Jay should play Rogue. Oh wow! I want to play so. <laughs> no, you gotta say thanks, Sugar. <laughs> thanks, Sugar. Well, howdy. <laughs> well, speaking about returns, uh, Jane Spader, broken by Hollywood Reporter, is coming back as Ultron in Vision Quest. 
Speak, what do you think? First off, because it was Hollywood Reporter, if this is not true, I will write a very strongly worded letter. Thank you very much. And I will send it by Carrier Pigeon. Thank you very much. But the best, what should be the best villain is back. Hopefully for the long term. I am. I love Ultron. He's so cool. I can't wait to see in what aspect he could return. I've always thought that he put a little bit of himself in Vision at the end of Age of Ultron. And Shuri accidentally let it out in Infinity War. I'm still banking on that. And once Vision Quest comes out, if I'm right, somebody owes me money somewhere. <laughs> and get this man a redesign. I, you know, we're in the age of giving comic accuracy. Just get, why not? Get, get him comic accurate. I did like his design right in Age of Ultron. It was actually oh, I did, cool. I did too, but yeah. shh, man, just, just keep rolling them out. Roll them out. Give him something Ooh, like, uh, like Earth Mightiest Heroes kind of deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. We I mean, can see him finally play Infinity Ultron, maybe. Ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> so, uh, Jay, um, being a, another uh, Ultron simp here, uh, what do you think? I mean, yeah, great. <laughs> His portrayal as Ultron was, I say. Um, uh, he's an underrated villain. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, hey, bring him back. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always loved him. And uh, I like how, you know, I remember Age of Ultron came out. People said, oh, he's not menacing enough. I like that he wasn't. I like that he had this kind of like, kind of laid back voice almost. Like, yeah. what, what do you say to Claw? He just like, Chopped off his arm, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry." I'm. S-. He's like, "Don't compare me to are... Tony." Yeah, doesn't it sound like you people are just so fragile, or humans are just so fragile, or something like that? Yeah, mm-hmm. just, he's he's very cool about like chopping off someone's arm. <laughs> like, he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. That, that looks bad." And I'm like, "Don't compare me to Tony Stark." Yeah, that's he's just a very cool villain. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... And obviously, yeah, all of the scenes with him and Vision, especially that one, the last one they had in the forest. Mm-hmm. You know, they're talking about AI and humanity. That, that was a good, that was a great scene, but we can have more of that. Mm-hmm. And we don't know how, how they're going to explain. I mean, he probably saved the file somewhere. So, or something. It, it's it's AI, especially nowadays. You know, it finds a way back. So, True. yeah. So we're all on board. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't mind, you know, I can still see Ross, was it McQuad? McQuad? Oh, he's Butcher's yeah. last name. I can see him playing, like, the Ultron bots still. Like, oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Keep him around. Um, think about keeping stuff around uh, Spider-Man 4, uh, which Geek, uh, you saw about this, I take it, so did Jay, uh, Correct me. It's uh, they wanted to come out between Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, and uh, heard some other stuff. But what do you what do you think of? Start off with your thoughts, Geek. So it they ended up on apparently that this is going to be a multiversal movie again instead of a more grounded movie that Kevin Feige and Tom Holland wanted. Uh, Sony did win in that battle. Uh, that part is a little disheartening where we left off, but I will say that if it does, if it is coming out between Avengers five and six, yeah, it makes sense. And mm-hmm. while you can capitalize on being able to use guys like Toby and Andrew, sure, why not? Um, and I, I don't really know what to expect. Um, I know. I think it's start sub, starts production maybe next sometime next year. Yeah, like summer. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, I'm only. I'm gonna wonder if Zendaya will return because I, I wonder like what part of like what scale of multiverse scale will it be on? Yeah, we've been so, hearing Black Cat maybe. So yeah, yeah. So you're. 
half and half, would you say, or you're just open and waiting? Yeah, I mean, I, I would have liked a, a grounded Spider-Man. I'm not opposed to multiverse, especially because we're in the multiverse saga. So it's like, you people can't keep getting mad when they do multiverse stuff in the multiverse saga. Because it's like, okay, so what? Do, so you want the multiverse saga to be one universe solely. Yeah, and then you got people who get mad when they don't do it, like Wakanda Forever, Guardians, and Thor. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. uh, you know, I, I see, and I imagine that's where they ultimately came down to, but sure. Yeah. Okay, what did we say once when we heard the rumors? Just because you can do it, and they can, doesn't mean you should. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think? What do you think, Jay? I mean, um, I'm a little bit more on like that. I don't really like that side because I mean, like it's not the fact that it's gonna be a multiverse movie. Like, I mean, yeah, we should have known that, but. It's more the fact that it's bringing back Spoli and Andrew. Well, that was the rumor. And I'm just like, eh, you're going to do it in another Spider-Man movie instead of having it for Secret Wars, where it would make the most sense. You know what I could see them? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say that. I um, have a little crack about, but I'm just going to say if it's between Doomsday and Secret Wars, give them the symbiote suit. Do it. Yeah, that's that's actually what I was going to say. As I was going to say, I wonder if they would do, like, just have Tom Hardy and Venom be in it primarily instead of Andrew and Toby and have Andrew and Toby meet up with Tom at the end of the movie to set a part of Secret Wars. Um, I, could, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to say that at first. I was thinking that same thing, but I was like, just let them, just give them the symbiote suit. I'm sure fans would be happy. But yeah, like if they show up in a post credit or I don't know, end, like right at the end, yeah, I would be fine with that because we you know it's going to be right to Secret Wars and we're going to see damn near everybody back. I wouldn't be surprised yes. if we see David Hasselhoff. <laughs> I should have given you the idea, man. <laughs> Don't forget Vulture. He's, he's gonna be there. <laughs> he's gonna be there, but he doesn't oh. know how. Just, he just sees Doom. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Or Doom. He just sees Doom. He's like, I don't know. I'm here. I just know with Spider Man just gets killed. Yeah. Or DJ's like, huh? Who are you? Or wait, he, he Vulture has a, uh, something against Doom for some reason. Like, damn you, Stark. <laughs> but here's my guess what if it's not fully a multi like I'm with you guys 100% like it you know obviously I would have wanted a more ground because that's what they set up you know he's yeah. by himself you know sue from scratch so being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man like do that and then you can do a multiverse again but what if we're getting both like we start you know seeing Spider-Man you know street you know, level, and then to the end, it goes more multiverse kind of deal. Could you guys see that, or uh, it would have to depend on how Doomsday ends? Or yeah, Doomsday ends because yeah. obviously Spider Man is going to be a part of the Avengers, and if all the Avengers get sent to Battle World at the end of Doomsday, then it, then that wouldn't make sense. But if they think they win, and then he sends them to Battle World after, then maybe. So yeah. I, I'm gonna say it could. It just depends on Doomsday. Yeah. One thing I could see is if they want to put him on the Young Avengers, because I'm still holding out that. Oh yeah, Young Avengers is either gonna get set up or have its own like show or movie um, between them or before Doomsday. I feel like. Doomsday would have the new Avengers or like the Avengers led by Sam Wilson. And I don't know if by, by, by the end or nearing the end, 
Spider Man or uh, Spider Man Four, he gets recruited to the Young Avengers. There, there's no shot Spider Man's a part of the Young Avengers. Not least Peter Parker. Yeah, I, I Miles. just don't see. It. Yeah, Miles maybe Peter. I don't see that. There's no shot that they would. I mean. Maybe, maybe if they want people to sit down and watch Young Avengers and they're scared, they could. But I don't know. I don't see that. But I mean, hey, like in the movie, he is going to. He's supposed to be going to college. Like he just got out of high school. True. I mean, yeah, like he's still very young. He's still relatively young. I'm just saying, like, if they don't want him, like. They could do that without having him sent to Battle World, so they can actually do something at least grounded. Like yeah, like like just add on to what Juan said. They could do it grounded, but then like nearing the end of the movie, he gets recruited to the Young Avengers, or the ending is him getting recruited, and then he gets sent to Battle World. Yeah. Good. But, oh, yeah, I was going to say, you know, they were never confirmed, but we all speculated and throughout the years. Oh, Daredevil could show up, Kingpin. You know, the point yeah. of multiverse is, um, you know, anyone can show up. But do you guys still see them showing up, if it's that's the case? Um, Daredevil? Uh, you know, I'm just going to go say yes. You know, one, I think Daredevil for sure. And if Daredevil is for sure, then that was then has that has to be Kingpins for sure as well. Yeah, they just rip off into the Spider Verse plot, trying to find his kids through the Multiverse Collider. <laughs> <laughs> like Sony's like, "Hey guys, just do this movie again." Like, okay, <laughs> it worked well the first time. Yeah, and hey, you know they might have some guys that they could hire, which I would be shocked if Disney does not try and reach out and give them an offer. Yeah. You guys just want to segue to that? Might as well. Yeah. Geek, uh, start us off. Lord Miller. Some of the yeah. US. Phil Lord and Chris Miller, uh, they're saying, na 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 hey, 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 and goodbye. Um, I don't know the extent of the uh, contract extension, but Phil Miller and Chris Lord um, are going to leave Sony. Does that mean they're going to leave after Beyond the Spider-Verse? Are they still going to be connected to Beyond the Spider-Verse? I'm not too sure. Uh, I believe this has just the stuff to do with like the TV shows, like Silk not being done, and just maybe it's just some behind-the-scenes stuff, but after all the work that they've done on at least the Spider-Verse movies, yeah. I would, like I said before, just a second ago, I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if Disney is not already on the phone with them. Yeah. Mm. Jay, what do you think? I mean, that's crazy because they've released some the best Sony stuff in recent years. So yeah. they'd be losing a very valuable asset, I would say. Mm-hmm. And were they behind uh, Noir? Like, were they producers producers on it? Or yeah, sure that we know? Yeah, I think they were connected. I think anything to do with Spider Man, they you could say that they were connected to. Except the yeah. MCU stuff, right? I don't think they, or maybe they would. Mm, no. I don't think so. Yeah, no, yeah. Spider Verse, but yeah, yeah. But I remember yeah, they was a part, um, they were attached to Noir, and so. Yeah, I don't blame DJ. Don't worry. Blame will be <laughs> But yeah, they've had a good relationship. They made a uh, the Cloudy and the Chance of Meatball movies for them. They made a uh, Jump Street, both of the Jump Street movies. Obviously, Spider Verse. So um, didn't they do the Lego Movie or am I thinking of somebody else? They did that one. Okay. Yeah. But, like, the first two, those were behind Sony. and So, yeah, they've been with them for quite a while, and now, like, 15 years. Um, yeah, I, I'd assume... Well, did they write Spider-Verse? Or are they just producers? 
Uh, I can check first. Yeah. Uh, they were there. Yeah. Across but... the Spider. Let's see. So at least for Across the Spider Verse. Um. Yeah, written by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, and produced by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say these they still have they're still going to be behind Beyond for that comes out. I'm I'm confident because I they're the kind of the ones who gave Sony the idea. True. In a sense, yeah. But I mean, it does suck. Who's gonna? You know, I could see maybe if not. Disney, maybe Warner Bros. will try to reach out to them. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. I, I can see a certain James Gunn guy trying to... Yeah, I, I just... I wouldn't be surprised if they already have plenty of opportunities lined up. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, <coughs> was, oh, yeah. We got a first look at the thing today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You did see that, right, Jay? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. It was him. Ooh. It, it was you, Jay, right? Hell yeah, because I'm rock hard. <laughs> Pause. Uh, <laughs> no, continue. Geek, what do you think of it? Uh, de- de- define it. The thing. Okay, <laughs> just just making sure, because we just had a weird... Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, I was talking with Lamar, one, of, one of my buddies and he said it looks like it could be like a stand-in like they had for Rocket. Uh, so when he said that, I was like, ooh, that's a good point. So I, I at first, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, a practical costume. After CGI and visual effects, that could look really good. And then when he said that, I was like, ooh, that, also, that, pro- that makes more sense because I feel like he's probably going to be primarily all CGI. Um... But my biggest takeaway is he's not naked. <laughs> the man went from having pants to nothing to he's clothed. Uh, <laughs> and after binge watching the bear, I'm very excited to see what he can do. Um, and now we've seen Johnny. We've seen the thing. Hell, we've seen Galactus. We just need now Silver Surfer, Reed and Sue, and I bet Vanessa Kirby and Pedro Pascal when that when those leak, it's going to break the internet like Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. I'm saying it here first. You you want to put bet money on it? Maybe yeah, because I think the Fantastic Four people have been begging for a Fantastic Four good reboot, and everybody loves Pedro, yeah. and everybody seems to love Vanessa Kirby, so. Mm. Yeah, I would probably bet that it, it could break the internet. Yeah, people like uh, the what's the name of the guy from the thing? Uh, the bear. I'm not even, I I don't even oh, know Ibu. how to pronounce Ebu something. Hold on, Ibu. I only know Abon. Abon. Uh, Abon Moss back backrock backrock backrock. Sure, I don't. Care. I thought you said backrock. I'm like, wow, I wonder why they hired him. <laughs> he's been looking at plenty of rocks getting ready for the movie apparently so he, so, so he told one of the jimmies or he just covers himself with rocks it's method acting um yeah but, I'm, but yeah I you're think yeah how about you Jay you, you've you been excited for this you're the sip of the thing so let us know <laughs> no um yeah I mean, he looks great. Like, he really does look good. And I feel like it would be a suit. Like, I feel like it can be a suit, but, like, they'll touch it up with visual effects. I don't think it would just be, like, a complete stand-in. Because it, it did look like, um, like, the, like a person in the suit would be able to move their head and move. Like, it did look like that. And I, I bet you, probably at the end of the movie or like in a fight, his sweater is gonna get burned off, so it's just his pants. 
I, I could see that. Well, at least he's not naked. Yeah, yeah. At least he's not late naked, and you got the rock pussy. <laughs> no, he, it's not okay. You gotta keep it PG, all right. He he's at least not naked. It doesn't have his rock out, all right. <laughs> you gotta be rocking kidding. He doesn't have his Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Yeah. Do we do it? Rock Bam, you looking here. for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clobbering time. <laughs> and I mean, like, the way he looks, it's the most comic. Well, not the suit, but like his face wise, it looks like the most comic accurate um, we've seen. Like, his, you can see his eyebrows. Like, well, I don't even know what you want to call that. It's like, that thing that protrudes above his eyes. Rock brows. Yeah, rock brows. Like, because we didn't have that in either of the uh, uh, Fantastic Four movies, did we? Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't so. think so. Yeah. So I was like, hey, he looks pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a interesting character to bring. We had the the nineties version, which they even come out in the early two thousands, which I, I'd say they did their best. You know, mm-hmm. it looks it looks weird, it. looks a little odd. See, I'll, I'll say this: other than him not having any clothing on, I'd say the two thousand fifteen version looked good. A little, a little too big, but you know. But, like, the CGI on him looked okay, but, hey, with what you said, if it's going to be standing or whatever and adding CGI, I'm I'm on board with that. And, yeah, got nothing to add other than give us a good Fantastic Four, a good thing while you're at it. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty yeah we're all on board good. here. Yeah. It's going to clobber us on, what, July? Yes. Yeah. Because I think it's like a month after Superman. Yeah. Well, Superman is July, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's like three weeks after Superman. Something like that. I think Superman is July 11th, and this movie is July 25th. Yeah. So two weeks. God, what a... How crazy is that? Yeah. Well, I, I feel like one of those has to move. Like, I don't see both of those coming out in, in July. Fucking make it a Barbenheimer. No. <laughs> Fantastic, man. <laughs> Super four. Yeah. It, it, it's hard to redo, redo that. It, I think eventually down the line we'll have something like that. Again, but. Hey, but all I can say is both, hopefully both do good and are good movies. And yeah. They have a lot. Well, they have quite a ton writing on them. Especially DC. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say both equally because the whole Dr. Doom situation. True. Yeah. He's going to show up in this movie. It's pretty much guaranteed. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a guarantee that he's gonna show up in this movie. So I mean, yeah. Also, you know, it hasn't had the best track record, Fantastic Four. So, mm-hmm. but I mean, hey, maybe they can cook. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I mean, you do have the crow, though. You know. Mm. <laughs> Are you? I guess we can touch on that before Sonic. Are you surprised Crow didn't hit it with audiences and critics? No, it looked terrible. <laughs> How are you, Jay? I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised on how many mixed reviews I've seen. I've seen some good, some bad. But then at the end, they, they was like, oh, yeah, the action is fun. You can turn your brain off and watch this movie. I was like, yeah, I mean, 
It's not bad. I'll probably watch it when it comes to streaming or something. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking the same. I've not yeah. seen any good reviews. It's it's barely made nine nine million on a fifty million budget. Flying's Gate mm-hmm. Two. These crapped out Borderlands, so you got two hits back to back. <laughs> they they knocked it out of the park. Yeah. <laughs> back from the dead. Literally and metaphorically. Yeah. Hey, but you know, you can do that or yeah, I think they have the Dave Bautista action movie coming this year. I forgot the name. That one looks good. No, he what? said Batista. Oh, Batista. no! I know, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it's called. It's, I, I, I've seen the previews for. It. Yeah, that doesn't look know. bad. <laughs> oh, Killer's Game. Yeah. You know, it does look good. Something that does have quite a lot right here on there is a. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Confirmation of Keanu Reeves as Shadow. Um, Geek, being the biggest Sonic fan here in the panel, what do you think? Is you a humongous Sonic fan? Like, no, in all seriousness, what do you think of the trailer? Uh, I've always thought Shadow was cool. Even when I didn't like know a lot about Sonic, I just like thought he looked cool. So I was like, hey, him, I like him. Um, so, yes, Keanu Reeves is confirmed. Um, I'm excited to see what he can bring to the table. I'm really excited to see the red carpet when you have him and Idris Elba together. I, just just to see them together, I think would be awesome. Yeah. Um, and you know, the first two movies were really good. This one is looking to keep up the same train. Yeah. I think the action looks really really good probably the best it's been in the three out of the three uh and as our gracious uh man behind the curtains lorenzo had said it has a chance of hitting a billion i think with the way the box office has been with inside out deadpool wolverine and twisters and dune i could see this easily hitting a billion too i i think Billion's going to start becoming a little more common now. I, th- I think we're back to where it's like, oh, billion is doable. Yeah. So you're on board, right? You will be seen in theaters. I hope so. Yeah, I should be. <laughs> yeah, dude. Christmas oh, yeah. Day, right? Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's like twenty second because I think Mufasa comes oh. out the same day. Yeah. Okay. Which R.I.P. Mufasa, R.I.P. Craven, R.I.P. Pretty much anything in December. Yeah, man, you beat me to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But yeah, you're you're on board. How you think it shows DJ money? I have opinions. <laughs> Nobody cares about your opinions. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey, it could be good ones. They could be good ones. <laughs> No, I was saying, uh, I said after I had opinions, I said they're all good. <laughs> well, I don't know how, how they did your boy Knuckles. I'm not mad that they did him like that because, I mean, yo, that just went to go show how much of a threat this man Shadow is. <laughs> I mean, like, but, yeah, I mean, you know, you beat me to that. Yeah, this man was menacing. In the trailer, like he is a menacing foe for Sonic, but this man was menacing. He he violated Tails. <laughs> like, don't not see this man die kicking. You know, that face. crunch though, he just grabs Knuckles. Like, oh. he, he grabbed Knuckles' knuckle, twisted it, and then proceeded to violate Tails. And he has his, um, I forgot what they're called, but like his little booster boots or whatever, um, the shoes. Yeah. I forgot what that was called. And I mean, Shadow. So I remember he does the voice. <clears throat> Sounds better than I expected it to be. You're a colorful yeah. bunch. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we kind of 
Like, no, it was him. Even from that little um, teaser they had put out where it was the blue quill and the red quill. I don't know if y'all remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that should have been our first, like, real confirmation. Like, oh, yeah, it is Keanu Reeves. But, I mean, and this trailer, I, it really was on the same wavelength as uh, No Way Home. Hmm. Right. And then we even got Big Billy Eggman. <laughs> yeah. With Pop. Yeah. Papa. <laughs> we finna see a kid get shot. Hey, man, Maria. You know. So so you're on board yeah. too, Jay? Oh, yeah. We'll be yeah. watching it here. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be levitating over there. <laughs> or spin dashing. Or gliding, because, you know, you and Knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think they'll do that to Knuckles because probably they're probably like, yeah, he's got to take the back, the back seat. He had a whole show kind of dedicated. He did to him. not have a show. I know. I, I said kind of. <laughs> kind of is being nice. He hey, cameoed in the Wade show. Yeah, who wasn't in the trailer? Do you guys notice he wasn't in the trailer? So I think it's just gonna be James Marsden and uh, Tika. Stumper, I think the last name is. Maybe because I think in the didn't he like stay in Nevada or whatever? Oh yeah, true. Um, but holy shit, this trailer fucking rocks! You know, see Shadow just decimate and then him running or freaking snowboarding, whatever. Not snowboarding, but ice skating. There, that's the term. Uh, and funny thing to point out, they're working for the government. It looks like, and I did not expect this. They're teaming up with Eggman. That was a that's going to be an interesting dynamic there. So, no, yeah, the action was great. You know, Keanu as Shadow. Yeah, I don't. I'm out of lost words here. Other than it's going to be fun. It's most likely going to make a billion. Oh, well, I think that, it no definitely will hit a million. Yeah, <laughs> Craven. Who uh, it'll pass the first two Sonics. I, I, I have you know all the faith in them, but Craven. You know who cares about that? Mufasa. I still don't hear anyone talking about it. Uh, or the Lord of the Rings, whatever. It's yeah. It's we're back. Like we never left. I stole that from Geek, but. But yeah, I'm on board. I'll copyright him. See you later. It's okay. <laughs> and not law court. The basketball court. Yeah. You don't cost you what, man. I mean, Mario can hit a billion. So can Sonic. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's great seeing Jim Carrey sticking around. Oh, yeah. Maybe he'll do three more after this and then retire. No, he just signed a lifetime contract with uh, just specifically Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah, roles, too. So. Yeah, I was about to say, he's playing two roles in this movie. Yeah. You guys said how awesome Shadow looks. Like He looks great. Yeah, the CG yeah, out yeah. him. Yeah. Freaking, oh, it's perfection all the way. But yeah, we're, we will be watching December. Um, yeah, I guess that wraps it up uh, with a trivia geek. Yes, so this one's probably going to make you guys think. Um, you can either choose to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it special because I think this is going to be difficult. Uh, you guys can either work together or be separate. I don't really care. But there have been four, five, six, seven, eight Marvel animated movies. I want you to see if you could name me all eight. And then, I I mean, yeah, just give me all eight. All right. Planet Hulk. Yes, that's one. Ultimate Avengers. That's two. Into the Spider-Verse. 
that does not count. Ultimate Avengers 2? Yes. Um, I'll give you a hint because you said Into the Spider-Verse. The last Marvel animated movie was May of 2011. There's one very obvious one that I can't believe you guys haven't said. Oh, I can just spit them all out. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want to work together? Or do you want to kick Jay? Let's back? work together, Jay. I can. I, I know this stuff, man. Okay. Okay. Go. Go on. Since Jay can't do anything, give him a win. Carry him to victory. Doctor Strange. Uh, Thor. Yep. I forgot the name. Yep. Uh, next I'll Avengers. Yep. Hulk versus. So does that count? Yep. As that, yeah. That's the one I can't believe you didn't say yet. Oh yeah. I was yeah. thinking that. I was thinking that. Wait, do so, you count that as one or two? Because that is that it just said uh, this is just as one. So that just leaves you with. Uh, just one. Did I see Invincible Iron Man yet? That leaves you with none. Okay. Uh, well, you, Mr. Smarty Pants, do you, uh, you just crushed it. I thought that was actually going to be difficult. Yeah, I only, only got one of them. <laughs> so I technically mean, you lost, but I did say you could work together because I thought it was going to be difficult, so you won. Congrats. Yeah, you got me one. Dude, yeah, I thought that was gonna be first... difficult. How, like, how did you just yeah. know all that off rip? That's impressive. <laughs> you know, I did a marathon once. Oh my gosh! Oh. Actually, you know, most of those are actually fun movies. Like, yeah, I, I think uh, 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 Next Avengers is good. I like Ultimate Avengers two. The Hulk verses are good. I take it you and, like and... Wolverine better. Or which one out of the two? Because yeah, Hulk the versus... Wolverine was better, and then Hulk versus Thor. Yeah. What's the name uh, of that Thor movie? Is it like Thor? Tales of Asgard? Tales of Asgard. Because he's carrying a sword in that one. So. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever watched that one, but the rest of them I know I have watched at least once. Okay. I like you know, interesting the uh, Hulk versus <laughs> and uh, the Thor Tales of Asgard. That's canon with uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Is it really? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Wolverine and X-Men, because those, those are technically the same. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That's what it says right here on Wikipedia. The producers uh, confirmed that both films share continuity with both cartoons, Wolverine and X-Men, and Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, taking place shortly before both, as well as the final uh, film Thor, Tales of Asgard, which yeah. takes place before all four. Huh. Yeah. I actually impressed you guys for once. <laughs> They're still going to try to. No, I'm, yeah, I'm systems. very impressed. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, so, so oh, is your Jay. You, you see some Jay, right? You said you saw Planet Hulk? Yeah, I saw Planet Hulk. I've yeah, it's based Hulk on you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we had a. Uh, we had a. Jay became a threat, so we had a. You know. <laughs> you know yeah, Adam, on. Geek, and I, Lorenzo, we, we had a deal at the Illuminati. Culture shock, the culture shock Illuminati. Uh, that was a good one. That they they had a what a Silver Surfer in the comics that they didn't have the rights, so they had to do Better Ray Bill. But I think Better Ray Bill was also on the. No, he wasn't. Yeah, I I remember seeing a couple of these, but I I couldn't think of them all on, off the top of my head. Doctor Strange one is really good. I, like I do remember one. watching that one. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I didn't even know Doctor Strange had his own uh, animated movie. I was going to bring out the Punisher and the Black Widow one, the animated one. I didn't That's know if that counted, though. Different nope. company. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, but I might have to. I always see clips of these on the internet, so I might have to rewatch them. Yeah, I have to You can have time because you can't play Marvel vs. Capcom with Jay. Yeah, you can. No, you can. You can. But you're going to go physical. <laughs> Dude, did you snitch on me? Come on, Jay. It seems like we already knew. Yeah, he's like, yeah. What? Wait, wait, you said I can, but I can't. Well, what do you mean by that? Because Jay's not oh. home. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's what yeah, you we're, we're, we're talking dude, about the collection. You're not even home. No, no we uh, about, you were talking about the collection, the one that's coming out soon. The, yeah, the because talking, no, I'm talking about Marvel versus Capcom. I just said Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, you didn't specify. Yeah, you did. We haven't I figured it would actually. be obvious. <laughs> we haven't been playing that actually. Yeah, we've been playing multiverse. <laughs> I impressed him. Now I disappointed him. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> Hey, he should have he should have knew that it was coming. He's like, "What no stuff?" Oh, never mind. Ultimate <laughs> <laughs> Avengers is good though. That's a good one. Yeah, well, the second one is. Yeah. Dude, I just like Hulk being like a villain. It's awesome, and then obviously Black Panther. You know, like how they tied it in, but. Anyways, I think that wraps it up. Unless you guys want to, you know, bring up anything else. I'm good. Yeah, Jay, you're I'm good. Good. good to have you back. Yeah, glad to be back. You know. Yeah, dude. I know you're trying to take over Geek once he takes over, but it's gonna be that meme the people at the church. There's the one like with the gun behind, oh. and then there's the person with the gun. The sniper with the sniper with the or the yeah. pistol, pistol, pistol sniper. <laughs> yeah. No, Jay, Jay wanted to do that to you. Of course, of course. We all good here, right? I think. Well, we'll find out next week. Your host, of Juancho. Follow me on all my socials. Geek, where can people find you? Uh, you can. Uh, I'm the host, uh, Geek. You guys can follow me on Instagram at legendary <laughs> underscore freeman ninety eight. If you want, don't. <laughs> the the hosts. Uh, we have the custody of the other host, Jay. Oh, uh, there's no custody. <laughs> what does that make me? The, the uncle, the uncle host. No, you just paid child support, but I keep him. Oh. <laughs> Host cousin? What, what does that make Jay though? Is he the host son? Anyways, co host, where can <laughs> where can they find you? Oh, oh, no. me and Jay my DJ on Instagram. Yeah. Alright. As the supposedly not host, follow Culture Shock on all the socials. Yeah. You'll see us beefing there. Beefing over the host position. Or claiming to be big Sonic fans. But we'll catch you guys next week. Until then, stay dirty. Au revoir. Peace.